What's going on guys? Finishing up uh, the first week of the new meso cycle and today I wanted to go over um, high carb low fat diets for uh, sports performance. Um, I know this diet is often commonly seen in the bodybuilding scene and uh, clearly those guys are usually the biggest, leanest and some of the strongest guys you'll ever see. So obviously there's some validity to it in terms of anecdotal evidence, right? You see a lot of guys using it, they have great success. Um, carbs are obviously your number one energy source. So having your body um, loaded up with carbs is never a bad thing when it comes to sports performance, you know, and also carbs are protein sparing, so you don't really need as much protein um, when you're doing that. So that kind of saves a little bit on the money aspect. You know, so if your carbs are really high, you can um, take down your protein. Say you're doing 1.5 grams uh, per kilogram or per pound. You know, however you estimated it, whatever's working for you, you can bump that down to anywhere from one to 1.2 and still see significant benefits because, like I said, a higher carb diet is a protein sparing diet. Now, with that being said. Um, some of the negatives as far as the high carb, low fat diet is um, one, you know, fats are highly hormonal. They drive your testosterone, they drive other hormones in your body to, uh, you know, be productive and be at top level. So clearly, if you see a top level, top level bodybuilder doing a high carb diet, you have to assume. Um, that they're still growing and still gaining due to the uh, use of the anabolics, right? Producing testosterone um, through uh, ergogenic aids will kind of circumvent the downfall or the downside of having reduced fat in your diet. Um, also, fats are great for all kinds of other cardiovascular health, joint health, uh, things like that. So. It is important to have fats in your diet, um, so neglecting them by having high carb days or high carb uh, diet approach is probably going to lead to um, some issues down the road unless you're, like I said, unless you're using anabolics. Um, some people are very carb sensitive and they get very lethargic, so overwhelming them with a lot of carbs in their workout can also cause uh, just a lack of energy, um, a, a lack of focus, and a lack of drive. So you got to kind of figure out what works best for your body and uh, you know what works best for your client's body. And if they don't really tend to do well with carbohydrates or carbohydrates tend to uh, make them fatter, uh, a lot of endomorphs don't do very well with carbohydrate, high carbohydrate diets. So having them on more of a higher fat approach with uh, carbs around uh, the workout would probably be a better approach. So it's all coming down to like figuring out your clients, what works best for them, and then providing them with the plan to be successful. But like I said, high carb diets can be successful. Um, they've been proven to be successful. Even some natural competitors uh, push carbs really high, and they're super successful. So you got to look at a lot of a lot of those anecdotal factors that go into it. And like I said, carbs are your energy source. So having a surplus of them around is going to be good. And the fact that you're keeping fats low will uh, make sure that the insulin is driving the carbs through the muscle cells and not to the fat cells. So kind of how to make this work in a sports performance realm is doing a carb cycling approach where you have high carb days for your training days. Say you're training four days a week, you can go higher carb, low fat days. And then on your off days, you would just reverse that and go higher fat, low carbs. That way you kind of get your fats in for the week through the three days. And you can really focus and pinpoint the high carb days on, um, on training days, you know, for me personally, I prefer carb cycling where you have high carb, high carb days on uh, your weak body parts or your highest volume days. Then you have medium carb days on your other training days, so it's going to be a surplus of carbs and fats, where carbs are more distributed around the workouts and fats away from them. And then in your low days, keep carbs super low and really up the fats and try to get all your fats in for your weekly needs. And uh, that's a good way to incorporate a higher carb diet into your sport performance uh, goals. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.